If you would have seen my Hydroverser video, you would have noticed that I did not recommend Hydroverser for burst casters. They simply burn through their mana too much and they don't benefit from that amazing passive. Of all the kind of bursty heroes, the Fae is one that I think could actually use the Hydroverser and Infinity Stream. So that is what is in today's video, guys. A nice, relatively sustained, focused build for the Fae with still some amazing damage. <laughs> Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my Hero Building Guide series. I am Silfun, playing with another YouTuber here, Decker X2, and you should definitely go and check him out. So the Death Fairy here, if you were looking for just the build, head on over to the end of the video, as that is where we will take a look into the cards and kind of say why we picked them. So the very first ability here, ladies and gentlemen, that we are going to choose to get here in this lane is going to depend on what their enemy the what the enemy jungler is and that is definitely uh the kuang so the kuang is gonna have a pretty easy time coming in here harassing me and that's that's gonna mean that we're going to get our bramble patch first what it is it's a line attack that that only goes about that deals 50 at 50 damage but more importantly slows the enemy down for a ridiculous amount it slows them down for 200 at 80 max movement speed, and it restarts every 0.5 seconds uh, that, or it, it restarts whenever an, an, an enemy touches the brambles. So uh, it's kind of a weird animation. It's it's weird, uh, but it's very, very effective, and boy, does it slow down the enemy like nobody's business. The next ability that we're gonna go for is Untamed Growth, which you saw the other Fae actually use there earlier. And uh, I'm actually having a little bit of a tough time with her basic attack, ironically enough, uh, is that there seems to be a kind of a little bit of a delay slash uh, doesn't necessarily go immediately when you press the button. So that is definitely something to consider. We're gonna posture here to get the the river buffs which are your priority that is what you have to do you have to manage these uh the these river buffs but there is the coin so unfortunately i'm going to very quickly head on head on over to this blue camp here we got eight seconds before that goes off so that is one of your roles here as a as a mid laner you have to get this this buff here but the blue the uh enemy fey gets it anyways um boo who so, the what her untamed growth does is a 100 damage, 100 ability damage AOE that 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 does its damage over time, and then explodes for 50% of of its damage after three seconds. So um, you, you have to be careful with using it simply because you have got to use it at the right time, or else it kind of goes to waste as people just kind of walk outside of its range so as you can see i'm being fairly careful here but not wanting that um not wanting that uh kwang to kind of make it too easy to gank us here in this mid lane so the last ability that we get and i definitely recommend you get for sure as i'm struggling here to get these last hits is your harvest no boy it is it is this harvest nettles that is one of the abilities here that we can get but looks like will i be able to get this kuang maybe uh but oh come on uh no i'm not able to unfortunately as there is that oh okay i'm being a little aggressive here i'm feeling like i could maybe get the kuang but unfortunately i wasn't able to and I also don't get these last hits. So there you go. Uh, there's a little bit of some funny business here in this early game with with the Fae. So the last ability that we did get was Harvest Nettles. It's a long range attack, a 2000 unit range. Pretty significant. And it is a it, it is your long range poke. So uh, a 65 ability damage, but refunds mana cost on enemy hero hit. Now I thought that they actually patched that so that it doesn't refund mana um, on on enemy hit anymore, but unfortunately it looks like they, uh, or fortunately for us, they actually did put that back in, which is very good 
because otherwise you don't actually have any um, you don't actually end up having any any of this so let's see oh she's she's is she going to be uh, yeah she's gonna be a little bit aggressive because she does have that uh, black buff which does deal a lot of damage but I'm actually kind of not too too worried so I'm actually gonna get my untamed growth here as we seem to be in a bit of a bind here pushing back this this fam gonna use my harvest my uh, right click there untamed growth as you can see that oh she does have her ultimate very nicely done and I think that means a dead me let's see if I can yeah all right so I was trying to be shifty there but unfortunately just outplayed by an enemy um, by an, uh, uh, an enemy fae there now you actually saw the enemy fae here use her ultimate it's called fly trap and the, you're gonna see it um, you're gonna see it in use here right about now so there is a whole bunch of damage there on this narbash and i'm actually going to use it here to make sure that he gets pulled back so we finish off this narbash kaboomy just like that so what the fly trap does it's a it's a, it's a pull back to the center so you uh after 1.25 seconds you pull enemies back to the center of the ability uh, and, and then deal some damage. So 211 ability damage is applied after they after they are pulled back to the center, and then they and then it uh, yeah deals a whole, a whole bunch of damage. So the vines actually snap. So the enemy is not pulled back to the center. If ah oh, the freaking minions, God, I hate minions. Um, the vines do break they don't get pulled if they break line of sight so using it in like in the jungle is actually a little bit difficult it's a bit tricky to 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 use it in there just try try tr try not to use it um in kind of around any corners or anything like that so as you saw there i was uh, heading on over to the left lane to gank that murdoch and uh narbash and that is definitely your role as a mid laner you are the ones you are the one that can do m amazing rotations to the off lanes you need to be able to do that you need to do that to kind of rotate over here and do anything like that i'm going to do this here just so that maybe we can do uh maybe put some pressure here on this on on this lane here and uh see what see what else we can do so we're going to we're going to harass this fey a little bit uh let's see what we can do here yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna nuke down this this tower here just because our our our, our mid lane is a okay. And we're gonna put some pressure on here. The Kwang is gonna be on the mid lane, so I'm actually gonna go back here. I'm gonna get that hit, and yeah. So maybe maybe we're going to go back. Yeah, I am gonna go back to this mid lane. We got some shenanigans, and there is one dead Kwang who chose to be a little too aggressive here and uh, met his fate. So what I was thinking there was, where is that opportune moment to bring all those enemies back together and deal that crazy damage and also that, that utility of, of the, obviously the pull. So that utility there is monstrous to set up our Sparrow's ultimate to keep them all nice and close together so that she's able to do that crazy amounts of damage. You have to think like that. There are definitely very good ways to use it. Ooh, I gotta be careful here. Uh, right there was actually an opportunity if I was paying a little bit of attention, but I'm gonna have to, uh, I wanna grab this just because I am low on mana and to and continue my sustain here in the here in, in here in this lane. As you can see, uh, with this healer potion that we have gotten and these, and these, um, and the and the war that, that we did get, we get we have a lot of potential here. I'm gonna actually do your combo. Yeah, baby, there's a combo. Oh yeah, so there is the fate combo. Uh, being able to use your ultimate into your untamed growth, followed by your bramble patch to keep them in there. Boy, is it awesome! Boy, is it awesome! You can really do as quite a substantial amount of damage, and. Uh, it's really something that the enemy has to be careful of. Definitely has to be careful of. Now, you might be wondering, um, so I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna let it poke down on him, which is A-OK -okay as we kind of poke at this. There's a little bit of damage, come on. Oh, not enough, not enough. 
as the Grex and I don't have enough burst. I'm going to save it right back. We need to spend these eight card points and get some mana. Now here is a general gameplay tip. When we have numbers advantage like we do right now, I am going to actually not retreat from this lane and instead I'm going to push. Uh, another, another reason for doing this is now that we have our Blink Charm, we're going to have a much easier time escaping and just staying alive. That Blink Charm is very, very important and that is what's going to keep us nice and healthy here. Um, uh, not healthy, but just relatively safe. Um, relatively safe here in this lane. So, oh, nice stun. Nicely done. So this is a perfect, oh, nice stun from, from our, oh boy. That, well, that could have been a kill there, but let's see. Let's use our ultimate there. Oh, oh boy, that should be a dead Kwong. Very nicely done. So, hey, I wasn't really all too uh, all too aware of that Grex maybe turning that, that engagement around. Definitely could have gone better here. Um, oh, not sure exactly what that Narbash was thinking there. Maybe he, uh, I think there was a little bit of a computer problem for him. Kind of feel bad about that, but hey, we will take it. So there's that Blink Charm. You saw me actually go about to use it. I was about to use it, um, but I... I, I kind of waited. I, I, I waited for the last moment. You don't want to kind of reveal your hand too early or else... Well, not that, the, not that the Narbash could have done something. But, um, you know, it could have at least just... Um, you, you wait you wait to the last moment and then, and then you use it. So, oh boy, this push here. Oh, very nicely done. No, yeah, baby. Well done. Holy crow. What a dominant display here uh, for us here in this left lane. Amazing, amazing. I'm going to actually put a ward down here. I don't have enough mana to, clear, to quickly clear one of these camps, but we do have one of these buffs. Once again, these amazing, amazing buffs to give us this, help, this mana back to increase our sustain here on the battlefield. Alrighty, our Grux is going ham. Let's see what we can do. Not much. Okay. Our Grex was going ham, we did- Oh, but the Sparrow is diving! That's not the smartest idea. Ah! Oh! Oh, that hurts- that- 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 that, that hurts me deep inside. Um, so if I was maybe a little bit more aware, again, keeping an eye on the minimap when you are retreating is one of the harder things to do, but actually really makes it- makes it- makes it- makes it really work well. That- that's a sign of a good player, if you can keep your eye on the minimap when you are retreating to know when you can turn around. So your uh, right click, your untamed growth does actually work very well on on those wards. So just know that so you can easily take down wards. Now if you were getting glimpse of our of our sustain before, you ain't seen nothing yet. We got two Solaris reactors now and boy is it going to be crushed. Oh boy, I don't think that was a good a good alt moment, but uh, something happened there, and oh, oh boy. Uh, okay, not sure exactly if this was the smartest thing here. I'm gonna do this. Oh, nicely done. Yeah, baby, there is the Harvest Nettles to finish them off. I think this Greystone actually doesn't have his ultimate, does he? No, he does. No, no, he doesn't, right? No. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay, so there, and then now our mana regen is gonna kick. It's gonna kick into effect as long as we can relatively stay in the shadows. I'm not necessarily liking the fact that I don't have my that I don't have my ultimate or my blink charm here in effect. So what I'm we're gonna want to do is put down a ward and actually come in from the side. Uh, the Fae is actually she she works really 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 well if if you. Um, Okay, so it looks like this is this the engagement that's gonna start. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy Oh boy, can I get there in time? Can I get there in time? Oh, there's oh boy, okay. Nope, so waste a whole bunch of abilities there. Oh But the Murdoch unfortunately no Unfortunately can't get him. Ah Positioning 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 is freaking everything man positioning is everything and that is what happens when you uh, Sparrow diving for it um, unfortunately that uh, 
that's gonna hurt us here so uh there you go there was a bit of a blunder in the positioning department i couldn't get around there uh to to kind of get in a good position to help out our teammates there and unfortunately didn't work very well and of course i don't get the range of minions here uh with my my thing but what we can do is go okay so uh yeah there you go okay plays okay plays for the fake so we got a good uh 5e4 here and you know what i'm going to that was probably the moment right there that was the moment right there there we go there is my ultimate there we go and i'm gonna use my blink term to get out of that and why is my ultimate enough There we go, I took out that that from afar. I'm gonna put throw that out there. And, ooh, ah, damn, two for one. Ah, but we did get a tower. Can the Sparrow clean up? Ooh, boy, but the Greystone is going in this left lane. Ah, that's okay with me. Um, honestly, that's, that's, that, that's, that's okay with me, just because uh, the mid tower is a little bit more appropriate. I'm gonna stay on my way, or on my way right lane here. Um, yeah, we're gonna go right lane here. So next up, our next up is a burst engine. Boom, 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 and a, another burst engine right here. We're gonna get the strikes first. All right, a Klong has unfortunately. Okay, there we go. Oh, but there's the other ultimate from. We're gonna use this, and there is uh, our ultimate going to town there. Oh, come on, baby, finish him off, please. Oh my God, finish him off. There we go. Is that enough to finish him off? No, it's not at all. Yeah, the, uh, your untamed growth there, your right click, is not a terribly, it's not a terribly, um, instant ability, unfortunately. So, you gotta be a little bit careful. So, now we have two Solaris reactors and a, and two burst engines. One, one burst engine has a little less, less mana regen than the other. And that's just because we're kind of setting ourselves up for Hydroverser and Infinity Stream. Obviously, they work really, really well with Mana Regen to keep you topped up so that that passive chugs away and gives you that bonus damage over time. Now, a few things that I haven't really explained so far in this match was is just the strategy that I've been kind of using, trying to really focus on that opportune ultimate moment that really opportune moment for our ultimate to really shine pull all the enemies together and deal a good amount of damage through synergizing our abilities together that is a very key key part um of of the fey and i i i i i think that the people that do that best play um play play fey the best unfortunately so here we go well done, Kwong. We had wards. Totally safe. Unfortunately, you just did a damn good job. I'm going to finish off this burst engine and see what is next. That is our barrier of will. So we're going to go uh, first with a more more supportive role in, in the barrier of will. But that actually depends on the Muriel. And unfortunately, she does have uh, Honor the Pure, so we can actually skip Barry of Will and go straight into Hydroverser. Now what this is going to do is give us power um, for 7% of our current mana, which we do have a fair amount. Um, I'm debating whether I should wait for it, and I think we actually will. To be honest with you, we're going to wait just a bit to use it. And instead, uh, we're going to maybe go for Infinity Stream first here infinity stream in the sixth slot to give us that mana regen over time and really kind of help us stay stay relevant on the battlefield all right we got an opportune moment there's a three person ultimate if i saw so myself there we go baby this is one dead kwong kaboomy three person ultimate and there we go. So we're going to say attack right lane here. As now we're going to uh, definitely be able to do quite a bit. So I'm actually going to do this. Slow this whole minion wave down. So boom. 
there, there. Take that out. And we're going to actually be able to very easily here push this right lane, maybe get this tier 1 tower, which would definitely be very nice. The mid lane should be okay there. I don't think that anybody's going to be trying any nifty thing here um, too soon. So we're going to do this. Boom. And that's A-OK -okay by me. There's that damage on that Murdoch. We should be able to get this tier 1 no problem and actually get this Murdoch no problem. There we go, baby. Uh, that's fine with me. You just can't be a little bit too stupid here. Need to focus down this tower, though. Oh, boy. Come on. Just kill the tower. Kill the tower. Ah, there we go. Oh, boy. There we go. So, hey, we punished them for um, for that little bit of an engagement. And now let's see. The Kwong is still dead. Only one person is alive. And that's an Arbesh. There he is over there. Uh, what the reason why I am talking about this to you is just because that is, it helps. It, it, it certainly helps uh, you guys to kind of think through my thought process and maybe helps you learn uh, what, what decisions to make here during the game. We do have 12 card points, which is absolutely amazing. So we're definitely gonna go back and use them. Here's a potential amazing 2v3, but I don't think we have enough sustained damage to deal with this Greystone, unfortunately. Uh, damn Greystone, man. What a hero. So we have our Infinity Stream. We have all of we have all of our of our ability pen online, and the damage is insane. Hydroverser gave us. 40 damage just instantly 40 damage instantly it was pretty insane so we do have numbers advantage so we should be attacking here um simply because we have numbers advantage so why aren't we attacking fortunately we have no wards to keep us safe here on our flanks as nobody seems to want to get wards up and putting them down as much as possible but unfortunately just not able to again the um Again, the Blink Charm is absolutely amazing to give us that freedom to to just be a beast, to get out of bad situations, to 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 kind of be a little bit more uh, a little bit more aggressive. It is damn awesome. So I'm just gonna put this down here. That's because we need a ward here anyways, so we might as well put it down. So we didn't use that numbers advantage at all, which I don't recommend you guys do, ladies and gentlemen. When you guys get a numbers advantage, always, always go and do something. Take Raptors, take or Prime, something. Um, just not whatever, not what we did, which was not, not go for it at all. Not go for anything, so please go for it. So look at this damage, boom crazy amount of damage here on on these minion waves and that's even going to be more on these enemy heroes wow so there was a pretty shady engagement that i uh didn't choose to record because it was just going that badly but then it would actually pretty damn good so we're going to take a look at that engagement in the replay uh just really quickly here but first 10 and 2 as the fave. It's a pretty good place in there, especially there at the end. Uh, oh boy, it was insane. So we're going to take a look at the replay very quickly. So here I am. I'm going to go back to spend my 11, 12, 13 CP that I had. I was at 60 CP, but I was like, forget it. I have my ultimate ready. I'm going to use my damn ultimate at least. So let's force this engagement. I was like, let's just do it. So I run in, the Narbash stuns me, and I'm like, I don't care. We're just gonna go. Let's go. So I, I, I have like, what's this Greystone doing? Let's use it on this Narbash. I was like, eh. So I blink charm out, and then the rest of my team comes in. The Kwong, I'm like, oh shit, the Kwong. I look at my minimap, I know that he stops chasing me. So I'm like, mm, I gotta get back in there. I'm pretty sure I can do stuff because my abilities are very powerful. So I go back in, I delete this, this Narbash, kaboom. And then I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? I was like, uh, should I help my, Should I help peel for my allies? I probably should. So then I go over here, I'm like, oh, the Decker, oh my goodness, what's happening? Our Greystone absolutely peels, amazingly. Our Muriel somehow stays alive. I peel for her a little bit more. 
the t ch just kind of taking chunks out of this um, Quang, but then this Murdoch just disintegrates from her Sparrow and Greystone. I land an amazing Harvest Nettles there to take out the Quang, and I'm like, what? <laughs> Guess what? We just we just got they got a four man pick there, and then we marched on to the core, which is then I uh, I started recording. But as you can see, like the beginning of that was I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna at least use my ultimate, and it turned into a way more of a commitment than I thought it would. Uh, and I was like, Ugh. so uh, there you go. And then this is the march to the in to this inhibitor, and then take the other inhibitor, and then take the core. So. Uh, they're going ham. They're taking out this Fey like nobody's business. Oh boy. What an engagement there. And let's go take a look at the build. So ladies and gentlemen, here is the Death Fairy build. Always go. F I always choose to go for the Archmages just because it helps with the siege objectives that Paragon's all about. Structures. So Archmages, I just kind of prefer that. And I don't honestly think it makes that much of a difference, if you ask me. So the consumable says the health potion and the healer token. If you will, if you have seen my recent pro game cast, you would have seen that they all start with heal, with health potions and healer tokens or mana potion skill support. So uh, obviously the health potion is there to help you stay alive, and that is obviously very important. So healer po healer potion and then healer token. Now there is another option. We do have circulate of health and circulate of mana. If you are in the off lane, yeah, Faye can be a support. She was classified as a support when she did came out, kind of pseudo caster burst caster support thing. Uh, she can definitely be that just because her root does work. Her, her slow does actually work fairly well. Um, I maybe wouldn't support a sparrow with the Faye, but I certainly would support a uh, twin blast or or a Murdoch. So you do have those options there. You start off with your Magus Ward for a little bit of, of mana, which she definitely does need. So we're gonna go for that. That is something we could change. We could honestly change uh, this Magus Ward for something a little bit more damagey. The uh, the other the other ward, but I think that mana is gonna be gonna be good just because she her abilities are just so good. You need that mana period. After that, then we go into two Slayer's Reactors for that mana region. I had almost no mana problems the whole game, which is really rare for me. <laughs> and especially the Fey. So, or at least if I did, I didn't really notice and they weren't really all that impactful. So that mana region is amazing. I love it. Two Slayer's Reactors for a lot of mana region. Four, po four power, three mana region per card. So it's a lot of mana region. And then you switch into this burst engine a little bit less four power uh five power and two um mana regen and then this person for a lot of power and then after that you have a whole bunch of six point cards after that then it's kind of up to you as you could see there i chose to not use this barrier of will save that till right to the end game you're right to the end game i didn't even have that barrier of will when we won the game so you can save that for later if if nobody else on your team has an honor of the pure or barrier of will you can save it or you can get it um, right after your six point cards but as you saw for me i chose to wait out just a bit and then get out and then get hydroverser and infinity stream right away all of this ability pen is monstrous oh it's just amazing so hydroverser and infinity stream that gives you the big power spike that is just amazing after that then you go into your slayer's reactor and then if you haven't gotten your barrier of will then you complete that final build barrier of will hydroverse infinity stream slayer's reactor magus ward and this burst engine there you go guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you guys enjoy the fey uh i am debating taking off this barrier of will simply because of the change a team shield your strict support will have something uh, on with pure or, or barrier of will so i am debating taking this off 8 9 10 11 that is 11 cp worth that could be a lot of damage that could be a lot more damage here with um with with another card so let me know what you think um oh sorry and of course the blink charm oh my goodness the blink charm uh you get the blink charm you get the blink charm right after you mage's ward because oh boy does the fey need it this saved my butt a few times in this game so you get the blink charm right after mage's ward and then you actually get rid of the blink charm as your very last 
card. Your very last card replaces your Blink Charm, so you don't have Blink Charm there in the end game, just because those team fights are just so all in, I, I, I find. So, uh, bl the Blink Charm is good to set you up for those late game team fights, and then when you actually get there, you want this stuff down here. Please. Like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, share it with the community, guys. Of course, subscribe. If you guys like this content, found it useful, please subscribe so I can do it for you later. Till next time, like always, stay optimistic and positive. <laughs>